we are talking beneath the surface. This one is directed by Scott Jeffrey and Rebecca Matthews. Now those names may sound familiar to you because I have said them many times. They are prolific B-movie producers and directors whose movies I have reviewed many of here on the channel. And this one stars Georgie Banks as a character called Lexi. Though we do have a couple of uh, Scott Jeffrey regular actors including Nicola Wright show up in uh, supporting roles. Now before I go any further in this review, I want to say two things. This review, unlike many of my reviews, will actually have a little bit of a spoiler warning to it. Because I am going to have to discuss a particular kind of plot point that happens within the movie. Now, I'm not going to spoil everything that happens, I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end of the film. And this plot point happens about midway through, but it's signposted so obviously, even a few minutes into the film, it really isn't much of a spoiler to be honest with you. The second point I want to bring up, this movie is strikingly similar, you might even say suspiciously similar, to another low budget movie that came out in 2020, that one being From the Depths. Now, the plot of this Beneath the Surface is this. Uh, it, it, it focuses on Lexi, who is a survivor of a shark attack that claimed the life of two of her fan members, that being her sister and her father. And she is suffering from uh, PTSD, survivor's guilt, and is having a hard time kind of really kind of getting to grips with it. Uh, she's drinking, she's having mental problems, etc. And we also learn that there may well be a, a, a surreptitious kind of B plot, uh, that's really the A plot, uh, about what's actually kind of the, the circumstances leading up to it and how certain other individuals who may be uh, present at this time have kind of uh, kept, been keeping secrets. Now, that is literally the same plot as uh, From the Depths. It li is literally the same. The only difference really between uh, this movie and From the Depths is From the Depths had these sequences where our character is hallucinating shocks all over the place and hallucinating her dead relatives and has a weird ass twist. And then this one uh, is m leans more into the kind of the melodrama and the kind of the thriller side of things. But the plot, the basic plot pre premise, is practically identical to uh, th th that particular movie. So you know, coincidence? Who knows? Let's discuss anyway what I think works in this film. Now, as with um, Up from the or From the Depths. That film got a lot of crap, shall we say, from people expecting a straight shark film and instead it being a kind of post-traumatic uh, dealing with the aftermath of it. And this is true of this one as well. There is a shark attack in it. Um, and to be fair, we do see more of that attack than we did in the, um, in the previous movie, uh, From the Depths. But the vast majority of this film is dealing with the, the human element, so to speak, after the fact. But it's, I, I find that, in a, a, a potentially interesting premise. Because, you know, it would certainly be a, a situation that would cause you certain kind of mental trauma. Especially if you thought the kind of the circumstances leading up to people's deaths were your fault. So I do think that's a potentially an, an interesting premise. Um, what else can I say that worked? There are a couple of performances in this movie that I thought did, did, uh, did, a, did an okay job here. I think Nicola Wright as a kind of the psychiatrist you know, she's pretty experienced at this point, being in many movies and kind of TV shows. Um, and even though she tends to appear in these low budget movie movies, I think she's clearly got enough experience now. She actually does an okay job in the acting. And I would say the actress that plays the stepmother as well uh, is um, also not too bad. The, the actual shark attacks themselves are a mix of stock footage, um, practical effects, and a couple of sequences of CGI. But for the most part, it's actually practical effects. Now, albeit the shark practical effects are low budget, and the kind of the shark doesn't look the correct, if that makes sense. But um, I still thought they were okay. I actually got thought the 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 effects for this movie were okay. Um, you know, seeing you know the, these kind of actors and actresses in this kind of sharks jaws and stuff were pretty good. And I think they do a reasonable job here in the shark attack films, making it seem like the the um, you know it's out. Now this this is obviously filmed in a swimming pool, 
Uh, but I think they do an okay job here of disguising the fact and kind of making them maybe that, that those particular sequences seem like that quite kind of well produced, I have to say. Now the shark, when we kind of see it up close and in stills, kind of looks a little weird. But I gotta say, I still kind of quite enjoyed it. And I, I'm a little forgiving of, of those kind of type of things. Um, and like I said, the idea of a post-traumatic uh, shark attack movie, interesting, that's interesting. I actually kind of quite like things that take a different path and try new things. And I said, it's one of the, it's one of the, the positive things I said about, as I say, From the Depths, even though a lot of people hate that movie because they were just expecting a standard shark film. However, I have to say this movie is fraught with problems. And like I said, I am going to kind of reveal some stuff here. So let me just get that out of the way first of all. So last chance, this is going to be spoilers, but I will, as I say, try and be as vague as possible. There is a, um, a plot point here where we learn that certain parties that were present in the kind of the shark attack uh, colluded to make it happen for reasons uh, that will kind of be revealed. It is so obvious. This movie treats this like it's some type of reveal halfway through, halfway through the movie. You are you are going to be so unsurprised um, that it, it just it, it's played so obvious um, because for a number of reasons, the writing, the acting, it's it, it's like you know you can guess as I say a few minutes into the movie. So this whole kind of build up about this kind of investigation about you know, our, our character of Lexi trying to kind of figure out what's happened through going to the psychiatrist and remembering it, certain things is really undercut by this, the way this movie is kind of like attempt at having this reveal is just so obvious. It's so obvious. Um, so that really undercuts some of the kind of the tension here. Now, this isn't a shark movie per se. It is a drama thriller. It has a shark attack scene in it, but the vast majority of the uh, the film is a drama. The kind of the aftermath and Lexi trying to kind of figure out what's actually ha kind of happened and why. Now that in itself isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's you know there's different genres of film. Just because it isn't a, a kind of a survival horror movie doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. However, if you're going to do a drama movie, you have I think you have to have certain um, aspirations in regards to building like dramatic tension and this movie sadly lacks that as i've already mentioned i think the kind of one of the reveals here is, is just signposted far too kind of uh, obvious and if you're going to have a, a a movie that requires drama unfortunately you have to have a better quality of acting um now a, a low budget horror film or b movie -ish, you know a, a regular shark attack film I think you can kind of get away with having a little bit more wobbly acting, to be honest. But if the main crux of your story is the dramatic tension between these characters, the acting and the writing has got to be better. And unfortunately with this movie, our main character, um, played by uh, Georgie Banks, that's the character of Lexi, although she's not, I wouldn't say terrible, she's, she cannot handle these emotional, these kind of dramatic scenes. She simply isn't good enough. Um, like I said, it's not, it's not horribly offensive acting, and if it had been a, just a regular schlocky B movie, it would have been fine. But because this movie's trying to kind of have more of a drama thriller element to it, you have to create a sense of drama, and that needs, you know, A, better acting, and it's not helped that she's saddled with a goddamn fake American accent, which all these movies from Scott Jeffries seem to insist on having. Um, uh, but yeah, so a, a good performance because you have to sell these dramatic scenes. You can't do a drama if you can't, you know, you can't make a drama film if your actors can't do dramatic scenes. But she isn't the only one, the kind of her boyfriend, who is weirdly written into the movie. Uh, it's like, um, it's, his character doesn't really make any sense if you ask me. How he's kind of introduced and things like that. Um, they're not particularly well acted, her kind of her friends. The only kind of real actors here I think do uh, do an okay job, but say is, is uh, Nicola Wright's psychiatrist and, then, and the stepmom. Um, the rest of the cast, unfortunately, are pretty weak. Um, and even even some sequences with the stepmom, I gotta say, I, I didn't think were particularly kind of good. Uh, the writing on this is just terrible. It's just it's just ridiculously terrible. Uh, 
you know, we're meant to believe certain things that are happening. And again, I'm going to try and be as vague as I can here. And the whole point of of the, the, the journey that kind of this character of Lexi goes on is that she can't remember the actual uh, shark attack for reasons that will become apparent in the movie. But then we see a scene where she's being interviewed by the police and they literally kind of say um, a, a major kind of plot point that she somehow doesn't kind of like, doesn't come back to her. It's so stupid. The writing of this movie is so stupid. And then what, basically what characters kind of do within this movie is just, it's, the writing is terrible. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of poorly acted. It's so similar to the movie uh, From the Depths. It feels too similar. It just feels too similar. Had it been a just a kind of post-traumatic shock attack movie, maybe, that went off in a different direction. But because we have this kind of like, this infidelity, so to speak, B storyline, which you do have that in that as well, it's like, come on. This is just so similar. It, it feels suspicious to me. Um, there are some technical elements that I feel don't work in the movie. Uh, even though I think the shark attack scenes work relatively kind of well done on a B-movie standard, you know, uh, the, the scenes that we see above water are, 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 are so much darker than, the, than when we see like, the stock footage of the, of the sharks swimming around underwater and things like this. Um, there's, there's, this, there's just elements in this movie where characters will, and again, this just goes back to the writing, will say, have these kind of lines of dialogue that are just so unnatural, unfortunately. Um, so you just, you forget about this movie as a drama because it just isn't dramatic because it, it's so poorly written and so kind of like poorly put together. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I, I, I have to say, like, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this as a kind of a comparison to From the Depths. I didn't mind from the depths. I don't think it was a great film, but I do think it was a little bit unwarranted in its criticism because purely because people thought it was going to be a standard shark film. This one, I feel, drops the ball on even this kind of like bait and switch that it's kind of doing, and the fact that it's, aha, it's not really a shark film. It's about drama and stuff, but it can't even do that right. Uh, so it's a unfortunately a real miss. This film, um, I will give it a three out of ten. Uh, and I think that's just a couple of, like I say, the, the, the shark attack scenes, I do think were okay. I think they were done to a technically a, a, a good standard for a B movie. And like I said, there's a couple of uh, performances that I didn't mind. And even the premise I think is interesting, even though it's fairly similar to a aforementioned film. Three out of 10, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.